guys, today I have you something special, some, um, some simple recipe, which is actually um, uh, cheaply made. And um, it's, at, at most, it would feed two people. It's something tropical, some, something uh, traditional in, um, in Caribbean countries. Uh, what we have today is, is um, canned sardines, which actually are very cheap, fire roasted tomatoes, um, medley tomatoes, lemon for flavor for the um, sardines. We have garlic, onions, green onions. We have here yuca or cassava, which is kind of uh, a kind of potato type fruit for the um, Caribbean countries. Um, salt and pepper for flavor and Spanish small paprika for added flavor and color. In order for you to know if the cassava or the yuca is good, you just cut it in here, cut the tip, and if it's white inside like this, it's, actu it's actually uh, good. And that means that when you boil it, it will be soft. If it has some black spots all around it here, that means that the yuca, when you boil it, will be hard. Start by cutting, by peeling off the yuca. Cut the ends. Cut it in pieces. And then just with a knife, just make a little cut here in the middle and peel off the skin very easy this way. Look, by putting the knife through the skin, easy. Once you have peeled off the cassava or yuca in Spanish, um, just rinse it with water so you can clean them up and put it to boil for about 20 minutes with a little bit of salt or until they become soft. What we're gonna do today with this um, yuca or cassava in English is actually a puree with garlic butter sauce which is a nice complement to the yuca when it's actually matched like a mashed potato. This is a meal that you can do it at any time you want, whether it is for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It is very cheap to make, and you can elevate it to be a gourmet dish. While the uh, yuca is boiling, you can start by cutting, chopping, or cutting all of your um, ingredients, which is gonna be the complement to elevate the flavors of that short canned sardines, which like I said before, they're actually cheap in price, but the flavors that you can get out of them is actually amazing. You just have to um, improvise and think uh, with what you're gonna mix it with, you're gonna mix it with. So you cut your tomatoes in four slices, your medley tomato in four slices, then a little bit of onions, Cut it this way. I like to cut my onions in small pieces, which is are more easy to uh, devour than having it in just slices. Just like that. Then grab your green onions. Watch it first. and then cut it in little pieces. Just discard the part, which is uneven, and then cut it in small pieces so you can sprinkle this on top. Just like that. Okay, while the cassava is still boiling on the pan there, 
we're gonna prepare the garlic butter sauce. Start by um, putting a pan on, on medium high, adding a little bit of olive oil so your butter doesn't burn. And when this oil is a little bit hot, then you add the garlic so you could cook the garlic a little bit so we could so we can open up the flavor before adding the butter we're gonna also add a little bit of the um, sweet paprika in it a Spanish sweet paprika actually in it so we could have a little bit so we could elevate the flavor of the cassava when we do our match cassava or match yuca with the garlic butter sauce so now that the pan is a little bit hot, just add the garlic, spread the garlic out, so if you start opening up those flavors, you can, you can sense when the flavor is open up, that you can feel the garlic smell very strong coming out of the pan. So now that the garlic has opened up a little bit, actually add your butter in it. So it could melt with the garlic, just like that. Just like that. We don't want the butter to actually melt too much. We just want to be fully melt, actually not to be cooked too much. We just want it to be fully melt, cause while I'm cooking and the butter is melting now it's actually cooking at the same time cooking out the garlic cooking out breaking out all those flavors together with the garlic so before the butter is actually fully melted add a little add at least half a teaspoon of the sweet paprika and mix it with the garlic and the butter Once it's fully melted, just leave it outside for later. For when you do your match cassava, you're gonna pour this inside. All of that goodness and all the flavors, it will go to that match cassava. It's, this is gonna be so delicious and the flavor is gonna be so elevated that it's gonna be just incredible. So, while the cassava is still boiling, we can continue by doing our sardines with tomato sauce so start by having the pan again on medium high wait for the pan to be a little bit hot before putting the olive oil because you really want the olive oil to be burnt so once it's a little bit hot just add at least two to three spoon of olive oil and spread it out in the pan like this until the pan is all covered Let it be hot before adding the ingredients. Do not actually add the canned sardines first because they already because um, they already cook and uh, you don't want them um, to disintegrate inside the sauce. Just wait until you actually have salted your tomatoes. Uh, your onions and your fire roasted tomato in there with salt and pepper and at last you're gonna add the sardines in it so you don't disintegrate all that inside and you're gonna actually move it softly so you keep the consistency of the sardine intact so first add a little bit of onions Spread it out so they all be cooked just like that. Once the onions are a little bit cooked and caramelized, it start getting caramelized and it start getting translucent, then I 
your tomatoes. We'll select the tomato to be cooked before adding the fire roasted tomato. The fire roasted tomato are actually for uh, to elevate the flavor a little bit more to have that kind of fiery kick when you have that bite um, to the sardines. So now that you see that the tomatoes are a little bit soft, then add your fire roasted tomato in there. Spread it out. This is the time where you're gonna add your salt and pepper in it to your taste of course some people like a lot of pepper some others just like a little bit so salt to your taste and continue by moving stirring all of that goodness there you can see the fire tomatoes there like they are roasted, you see, mixed with the regular tomatoes and the onions and all of the flavor there. You see, it's becoming like a sauce all together. Now it is time to slowly picking up your sardines from the can, just like that, and put them, putting them in the middle, just like that. Do not stir it, your sardinas or move it around. You can either use this a little bit of sardine oil and spread it out in there because that there has a lot of flavor too. Now, just stir on the side. Also, pouring a little bit of all that goodness on top of the sardines. But do not ever flip it or try to Move it around because otherwise they would disintegrate in the pan like nothing. Because remember, they're already they're already pre-cooked and very soft. You just want them to get the flavor by covering the sardines with the sauce, just like that. The way you can see that the cassava is already good, just to get a fork. And when you see that the fork goes through like this, the cassava is already cooked. You see how soft it is? All the pieces and all white inside, that means that the cassava was good. If it has like a some dark spot, like I said before, the cassava will be hard. And when you put the, when you pour it with the fork like this, the fork will not go through like this, like, like this one went. Take your cassava off the water and before you mash them, you need to take off the little root inside of them, which is kind of not pleasant to eat. All of them has it in the middle. Just like that. It has like a little root inside that is not pleasant to eat. It's like a bind go, go, going through um, through the middle that never that never gets cooked because it's like eating like a little branch. So once everything is clean, start by mashing your cassava like um, um regular mashed potatoes. Just mash it like that. You can add a little bit of the cassava water, which has already got all that goodness in there, right? So it will be a little bit more soft and hot. You see how it's becoming? The consistency, how, how the consistency is becoming. So now, 
add the garlic butter sauce on top with paprika and mix it well with all that there. To serve, just add the cassava in the middle of the plate, just like that, right? Get those sardines, put it across the top, maybe two of them across the top, then all that goodness all around. Sauce. Sprinkle a little bit of green onions on top. And a piece of lime on the side. And there you have it. Fancy cassava puree with sardines with um, tomato sauce. This is so delicious and simple made and very cheap. It will feed at least two people and the flavor elevation here will be so good that you're gonna be amazed when you eat this. So if you like more of my recipes, just keep following us, subscribe to our channel, that every week it will try to get you a new recipe for you, whether it is cheap, expensive, an adventure, anything, but we will try to satisfy you all the time. You're taking a picture of recording. Recording? Why are you not taking a picture?